Okay. We're going to talk about inflammation a little bit, the foods that we're eating. I mean, diabetes is a huge inflammatory disease. So at the root of it, the root of diabetes is because um, you have too much body fat and it's clogging up your, your organs. So when you have body fat, it's, uh, it grows, the cell grows, and then it reaches maximum density. And it's like putting air in a balloon. You can only put so much in before you take that last breath and put in a little bit more and it pops. So it's the same thing with your fat cells when, um, when they're growing because you're eating more food and you're not working out and not burning it off. You're not doing anything, you're not exercising. So the fat cell starts to grow and it gets bigger and bigger until it can't grow anymore and it bursts, it dies. And what happens is we have these things called microphages that come in and it's like a blanket they go over the dead cell, the fat cell, and they devour it. But that's causing inflammation. So the, the more body fat you have, the fatter you are, the more inflammation you have. So what's also contributing to that is the foods that we eat. Okay, some of the, our bodies make a lot of our own um, um, vitamins and minerals, but it doesn't make um, set, a, a saturated fat, not a saturated fat, a polyunsaturated fat, You've heard of omega-3s. Everybody's heard of omega-3s. Every doctor, you hear it in the news all the time. Omega-3s are all over the place. Omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. The counter of omega-3s, so if you think of a seesaw, you want the seesaw for it to be in balance, which is what homeostasis means. Your body wants to be in balance and homeostasis at all times. So the omega-3s and omega-6s should be in balance with each other. However, our food supply makes our, the seesaw go like this. So now the omega-6 is up here, is way up here and omega-3s are down too low. We're imbalanced and so now our bodies are inflamed. And it's because of the foods that we're eating. That's one of the causes of inflammation is the foods we eat. When you buy anything that comes in a, in a box, what they do is it used to be corn oil that they used to put in there all the time. And you can see in the diagram at the top, corn oil, most of the circle is red. That means red means inflammation, blue means anti-inflammation. So corn oil is extremely inflammatory. And they use corn oil because it's extremely cheap. The government subsidizes corn, remember that? So mm -hmm. it's cheap for the food company to use corn oil to make things taste better. So when you look at the back of the box, you, you'll see uh, corn oil will be at the top of the list of the ingredients. And again, the closer it is to being the first ingredient in the product, mm -hmm. the more of that product, mm -hmm. of that ingredient is in that product. Mm -hmm. So uh, the rule of thumb is when you buy things, when you had to buy things that are in a box or a package and it has an ingredient list, the rule of thumb is to try to keep it below five ingredients. Oh, there's a thing you. Okay, so the uh, the corn oil, because it's been getting a bad rap in the last uh, five years or so, now the food industry, what they're using is they think, people think that it's healthy. They're using sunflower oil and safflower oil. So when you look at the, the two middle ones underneath corn oil, again, it's even worse than corn. It's even more red. So when you look at like a bag of potato chips, it'll have sunflower oil, safflower oil. It's all inflammatory. This is what these foods are doing to your body is causing all this inflammation in your body and it's making you sicker and sicker. Soybean, they say that soybean is healthier, but soybean, when it's processed, it becomes a carcinogen, especially if you're looking at, I know some people in the group were looking at protein powders that had soy protein isolate in it. As being, a, um, as being a protein. And that's horrible because when you see the word isolate at the soybean, it means it's a carcinogen because of the way that it's being processed. So soybeans are not your, not your friend, especially women because they have estrogen-like compounds in it. So it mimics estrogen, which makes gaining weight even more. Estrogen is a hormone that makes you gain weight. Okay, mm -hmm. so we need to get rid of. And then also, um, your fat cells make estrogen. So the more fat you have, 
your body your body is producing more estrogen more estrogen has produces more fat so it's this vicious cycle we're going from fat to estrogen to more fat to more estrogen to more fat to more estrogen so we need to break that cycle okay one of the ways to stay away from soybean products and also to uh get rid of body fat okay 